I saw this earlier today. Uh, Gray posted it, and I had no idea what the hell's going on. So here's the thing. Black Myth Wukong is one of my most anticipated games of this year that's going to be coming out that hasn't already came out. My most anticipate, uh, anticipated game was Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And yeah, I was really, really looking forward to that. And then Stellar Blade. Now, uh, the next one after that will be in August, which is Black Myth Wukong. But I guess there's some kind of controversy that's been going on. I'm hearing that Bl uh, Sweet Baby is involved for some reason. So uh, I do want to actually check this out right over here. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually really, really looking forward to it. So even Hideo Kojima, Hideo Kojima is excited. Look at that shit, man. He says, this title has been on my mind since I first saw the trailer about three years ago. Black Myth Wukong, its original look, design, coloring, effects, and presentation have an outstanding sense of style that sets it apart from other games. Uh, let's see, I've also been eagerly following game science. The development team finally, it's released. Uh, it has been confirmed that the theme of the Monkey King Sun Wukong uh, is also familiar for my generation. I'm looking forward to it. Black Myth Wukong will be released on August 20th, 2024. Now, here's the thing. I checked earlier and the collector's edition for the PS5 is gone. It's it, it's gone, right? So, but the collector's edition for the, for the PC one is still available. And the thing is that I might actually buy it for the PC, but I'm not sure if my computer can handle it while I'm streaming at the same time. So we'll see. But that's not the reason why we're talking about this. So if you actually go back right over here, this person says, seeing you promoting and praising a game studio with such fervent history of sexism and hatred is really disappointing to me. Who the hell is this person? Oh my God. Uh, Honkai Star Rail, Art Personal Thoughts. And of course, um, there is a pride flag in this person's bio. And I, I'm afraid to click on this bio is because I'm, I'm afraid I might see some bonus holes that I don't want to see. So if you actually go over here, this is Pirate Nation. And it says that the Chinese uh, media, Black Myth Wukong, refused to be extorted $7 million by Sweet Baby. Wait, is this? That, that's the thing I've, I've been hearing. I've heard, is that what Sweet Baby is actually doing? Is, is, is that the reason? Okay, let's see. English, so it's been translated from here over here, okay? Okay, see, uh, English version. This is the reason why the team behind Black Myth Wukong has been subjected to persistent sexist attacks and slander since their first promotional video is because they have consistently refused political correctness guidance and rejected the extortion extortionate guidance fees of millions of dollars demanded by these political correctness teams. Actually, such teams are quite common in Europe and America. They interfere with their works like Assassin's Creed, Dying Like to Stay Human, and God of War. And pushing for politically correct female protagonists, uh, these changes are the direct result of the interference and guidance of such teams. Yeah, so without saying Sweet Baby, it's Sweet Baby. This is obviously Sweet Baby Inc. because of God of War, right? Does Sweet Baby also work on Assassin's Creed? I don't know. Okay, game science team refuse to communicate with these groups and reject their interference. Most importantly, they re refuse to pay this exorbitant, exorbitant seven million dollars in guidance fees. Fuck that! You don't need that shit, man. You don't need that shit. This is the direct reason why they are being attacked and slandered. Some justifications are based on teams' lack of diversity or representation, which doesn't align with the political correctness and standards. A typical example of this article, a major IGN writer criticizing Hogwarts legacy and refusing to evaluate or promote it due to alleged lack of political correctness. Now, here's the thing. This is this is a video game based off of mythical creatures on and lore of Journey to the West. And it is it has, a, it has a heavily tied into Buddhist like uh, Buddhism as well. So, uh, and you're, you're talking about a game that's in China. There are billions of us over there. Billions of Chinese people. $7 million is nothing. Yeah, right there. Silent King. Um, seven mil for garbage. Cons uh, call yeah, it's $7 million is nothing. You can keep your bullshit. Yeah, base China. Base China for, for sure, man. That's absolutely insane. So I have the article pulled up. Let's see how, I don't even know how long ago was this, this was. Okay, this is back in 2023, last year. Okay, how Black Myth Wukong developers' history of sexism is complicating its journey to the West. This is so fucking retarded. Who is this? Rebecca Valentine and Ki-Hoon Ki Chan. 
this piece of shit. I'm not really. I am in no way affiliated this, 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 with this Chan. This Chan, this piece of shit Chan over here. I have no, no affiliation. Yo, what's going on, Hayden? How's it going, man? Uh, but yeah, D D Dave says, uh, if you give me the P give me the PC game since your PC sucks. What are you talking about? I have 64 gigs of RAM and a 3060. That's, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about. But streaming at the same time, though. All right, I'm going to go down right over here. For an indie studio that has only released mobile titles within the country, this widespread acclaim over Black Myth Wukong is a largely unprecedented feat, particularly for a game that has not seen, uh, has, not, has not been released yet. But beneath the luster of its souls like is a studio played by claims. Claims. This is a claim. This is not like actual fucking proof, man. This is a fucking claim. Shut the fuck up, you dumbass writer. Several posts have surfaced from Chinese social media site Weibo. Uh, Weibo, sorry. Written by individuals from the studio that contain multiple references to genitalia and sexual innuendos. I need proof, man. I need hard proof, man. These have provoked a backlash among some of the game's community, many of whom are whamming. Uh, this was coupled by recruitment uh, posters by the studios produced in 2015, which featured images and headlines that point to a culture, well, of ingrained sexism in game science. IGN spoke with several women. Okay, where are these women? I need the names of these people, and they actually need to have videos coming out and saying shit. Uh, gaming culture, as well as games and technology industry in China, many of whom requested to be anon- Oh, yeah, sure. Sure. Anonymous for fear of backlash from fans of game science and the broader games community. No. Uh, this is- this is bullshit. What- ga This game is not even out yet, and you're- Backlash of game science fans? Get the fuck out of here, man. Quote, in the eyes of many female players, uh, sure. Uh, game size has notably negative reputation, said Jen. Pseudonym. Uh-huh. Oh, I, this is a fake name. Nobody names their daughter Jen that's Chinese from China. Uh, a Chinese game designer who's now based outside of China. I admire their dedication and work. I had high expectations for their game until I came across their misogynistic remarks around 2021, which was reported in the news. All right, I, I, I need the news. I need the, I need the damn news. IGN reached out to Game Science ahead of the publication of this article, but the studio did not respond to requests for a comment or any of the allegations. This is this is this sounds like fucking slander, man. Okay. So I have Ki Hun Chan pulled up, and uh, this is a part. Okay, so I believe this person is also a writer or an editor. Okay, but here's the thing, though. I actually pulled up Rebecca Valentine's thing, and of course, like clockwork, pronouns in bio and protected posts and protected Twitter account. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. And of course, located in San Francisco, out of all places. So what a what a fucking crazy, crazy ass bitch. Now, that is not all though. Over here, this person, this is from back in 2022. So this is a uh, actual racist, don't even focus on skin color and the wokies do. And here's the thing, Sifu review Kung Fu gripe. Sifu has nothing new to teach fans of roguelike action and adventure games, but it makes an attempt. So this person wrote an article about uh, and a review of the game, right? I think it also has worth noting that Sifu was developed by an all-white European development team and some aspects of the game do come off as culturally tone-deaf. I suggest checking out the article by ki Hoon Chan for more about the aspect of Sifu. So the thing is that I'm not sure if ki Hoon Chan actually lives in Hong Kong. It's because Sifu is actually the destination because I played the game. The location is actually in Hong Kong slash Kowloon. Now, if you actually go over here, this is from ki Hoon himself. Do I hate white people? Yes. And if you are a friend, you'll understand why this is this is never personal. I hate white privilege so much. Their ability to scream reverse racism when faced with a tiny bit of criticism. The world re revolves around them even in Singapore every day. Man, man. Okay, like I said, Ki Hoon Chan, no affiliation, all right? No affiliation with this Chan. I'm the cooler Chan. This guy's a piece of shit, pussy ass, fuck baby Chan, all right? But I'm pretty sure he has an anime or a... Uh, th he looks... If, if this is an actual image of himself, he looks extremely woke. But no affiliation. No affiliation. But holy shit, man. 
Holy... That's, that's actually crazy. These people are actually fucking crazy, dude. But yeah, the extortion for, um, for, for, uh, what's it called again? Um, uh, working on black myth. Good. Fuck them. Fuck them, man. You're talking about mythological creatures. Okay. Where Sun, uh, Sun Wukong, or Sun Wukong, right? He fights cow mutants, gods, demons, like mutated fucking people. He doesn't, Sun Wukong doesn't. He never fights actual people. If you don't know the lore, he never fight, fights people. He fights these things called Yu Zeng, which is basically like mutated creatures that are like wild or like a bat demon, a, a snake demon, a dick demon, a ghost, a ghost demon, or whatever kind of demon dicks that they, he, he never fights humans. So where are you going to put these political correctness in the game? Where? There's no place for that shit. And plus, this is China we're talking about. They don't give a fuck about Sweet Baby. They have all the fucking money. And the, and it's actually, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is partially owned by Tencent. Tencent is owned by the government. The government don't fucking care, man. Get, get your fucking woke bullshit out of there. It's fucking ridiculous. Jeez. Yeah, but I'm going to be buying... I'm going to be buying the game. I'm going to be buying game. I'm going to see if I can get the PS5 Collector's Edition if it comes back in stock. If not, then I'll get the PS, uh, the, not PS, the, the PC version of it because I do want the statue. The statue is actually sick.